Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about lap harps and um, all of the cool things that you can do with them. And one of the neat parts about them is they're so light and portable. But because they are light and portable, they can sometimes be really hard to actually hold on your lap. So a couple companies have come up with a solution for that. Um, I have a harp stick by Harpsicle Harps and also some knee bones by Music Makers. Um, so I'm just gonna show you these and how they work and you can decide if you might want something like that for yourself. So I'm gonna start with a really light harp that I have. Um, this is my wearing double strung cardboard harp um, and it's super light, probably about the same weight as a harpsicle harp, probably about six pounds. Um, so the way that you use these is super easy. The harpsicle harp harp stick has a little nut down here and you just kind of unscrew that a little bit and then there's plenty of space between these two pieces. <laughs> and then you can stick that in what usually works for me is the lowest sound hole. And I kind of stick that in there and then move it so that, oh, unscrew it a little bit. And I move it so that it's kind of in the top of the sound hole. And you want that piece to be covering the back of your sound hole so that you can kind of get a tight grip on it. And then you just twist it back around and it's holding on there nice and tight. <laughs> so you can see it sitting in there really nicely. And then you can just put it on your lap and if I can put this down a little bit, <laughs> and you can see that helps it to sit on your lap really nicely and evenly. So awesome. <laughs> um, so then you can go ahead and play. I do find that it's still kind of difficult to get it balanced exactly right. You want to have the bones far enough forward on your legs that you can lean the heart back against you and it's not feeling like it's top heavy or flying forward. So here. So that makes it a lot easier to play as opposed to trying to squeeze it between your legs or sit it way up here on your actual knees. <laughs> okay, um, so now I'm gonna show you the harp stick on a heavier harp and we'll see if that one works as well. <laughs> and here is the harp stick on a heavier harp. Um, so let's go ahead and give this a try. I did tighten it, um, but maybe not as tight as it needed to be. No, it's pretty good. Okay, <laughs> so um, my apologies, this harp is really out of tune. So here's kind of what it sounds like. So it does make it a lot easier to play. So the reason that I had to test the harp stick from Harpsicle Harps on my cross strung and not on the Limerick lap harp like I was planning is because of an interesting quirk of design. <laughs> so the Limerick lap harp you can see has this wood that kind of comes um, a little farther than the back panel does. Um, and because of the design of the harp stick, which you can see it's just one thick piece of wood and then one other thick piece of wood. Um, it doesn't allow these two pieces to really come together um, because this long bit, of course, gets stuck on that bit of protruding wood that comes out from the back panel. <laughs> so um, if you have a harp, a lap harp that's like that, um, then the harp stick is probably definitely gonna be out for you. Um, I could get it to go on there, it's just long enough, um, but it just does not get tight enough to hold up this limerick lap harp. <laughs> so let's go ahead and try the Music Makers um, knee bone, as they're called, <laughs> and I will show you that on a light and a heavy harp as well. So here is the Music Makers knee bones. Um, you can kind of see it sits out a little bit farther, which I kind of like. Um, and that's how this holds the lighter harp. You can kind of 
of see that there is some swaying there from just the pressure of my fingers against the strings. Um, and honestly, it's going to be that way for all light harps, pretty much no matter how you choose to hold them. They're just so light <laughs> that it's hard to get them to be steady. And now I can show you one of the neat differences between the harp stick and the Music Maker knee bones. So since the knee bones are shaped a little differently, they're able to go on this Limerick lap harp, even with these protruding sides, super easily. So I'm going to go ahead and play that for you, and you can kind of see how this works. <laughs> so I've got it set on my knees right there and it just kind of leans back on my shoulder and then <laughs> it is really hard to balance these um, so you can get it farther on your leg and then lean it back a little bit more but at that point it kind of feels really absurd how far it's leaning back <laughs> Um, so honestly, while I do appreciate the knee bones and the harp sticks for what they are, um, I don't feel that it completely solves the balance problem of lap harps, unfortunately. So just to show you up close what these two products are like, um, here's the Music Maker knee bones. It's got the cute little Music Maker logo. Um, this one is $50 on the Music Maker website. Um, and you can see the knob that you screw here is made of a nice wood, so it's really easy to screw it. It's not going to be difficult on your hands. Um, and both this side and this side are covered with cork, um, which pads your harp when you're putting it on there, um, so you're not as worried about hurting the finish on your harp, which I really appreciate because that does kind of worry me, honestly. <laughs> Um, and also it has that difference of, you can see it kind of um, goes up right here. So that makes it a little easier when you're using a harp like the Limerick lap harp where the edges protrude a little bit. And here is your harp stick from Harpsicle Harps. Um, and it's obviously the same basic idea. This one is $30 or I think it's $40 if you're getting walnut or cherry wood. Um, but again, same basic idea. The nut is just a little screw thing, so um, that's pretty simple. And uh, it does have padding on this side. Um, it's like a nice black felt. But on this side, towards the inside of the harp, there is no padding. Um, which, I mean, it's the side that faces the inside of the harp, so you're probably not really going to need it. But <laughs> just so you know. Um, and then comparing the two side by side... It looks like they are both roughly the same length, although the Music Maker one, the part that goes inside your harp, is a lot bigger. Um, so I feel like that probably makes it a little more stable. But yeah, other than that, quite similar, same idea. Um, I do wish that it completely solved the problem of balancing a lap harp, but unfortunately nothing except a giant stand <laughs> is really going to solve that problem completely, but it does make it a whole lot better. Um, so if you're going to a park or traveling and you don't want to be taking a big stand or a floor harp, these are a good alternative. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Hello everybody and thank you so much for watching my channel. Um, if you want to click the subscribe button right up there, then you can subscribe to my channel and see all my new videos. And if you would like to check out my Patreon, the link is down there in the description. <laughs> thank you all so much. Have a wonderful day.